Have you heard that Pete Rose has come out of exile? And he's done it in the way only he knows how to. From struggling through school, failing his freshman year, struggling in the first year of his MLB career, to multitude of scandals and gambling, getting tombstoned by Kane in the WWE, to being banned from the Hall of Fame eligibility. Pete Rose is not a hard man to forget. Let's take a look at what he's been up to all these years. On August 24, 1989, Pete Rose was banned from baseball for life after he was accused of betting on games while playing for the Cincinnati Reds. The ban has since been overturned, but the controversy around Rose's past remains. Some people feel that Rose should be reinstated into the Hall of Fame because of his accomplishments on the field. Others believe that he deserves to be banned forever because of this. But before we go into detail of all that, how about a bit of a recap? Pete Rose was a beast on the field and off the field. He always found a way to get into the news. For example, after his retirement and subsequent banishment from baseball, he found a way to be on the news again, but this time through the WWE. Making several appearances, he first served as a guest ring announcer between The Undertaker and Kane. Then in another game, Rose was tombstoned by the Big Red Machine. The baseball legend decided to take revenge on Kane. In his best efforts, he dressed as the San Diego Chicken, attacked Kane, but again received the Tombstone Piledriver. He went on to make more appearances in WrestleMania and in 2012. Kane admitted on one of the anger management shows on WWE TV, stating, For reasons never quite explained, I have an unhealthy obsession with torturing Pete Rose. Rose made another appearance on TV in 2015 after he got a job with Fox Sport. He was an employee with Fox until he was fired in 2017. Other things he's done off the field was divorced twice, with his most recent divorce in 2018, revealing that he earns $1.2 million just by signing autographs. All right, back to the field and his baseball days. When he retired in 1986, he was one of the most decorated players ever in the history of baseball. Nicknamed Charlie Hustle, Rose won three World Series championships, was listed in the MLB All-Star Games an impressive 17 times. He was the National League Rookie of the Year in 1963, World Series MVP of 1975, one-time Silver Slugger awardee, three-time NL batting champion, was the NL MVP in 1973. And for over 30 years, he's been the king of hits, remaining the highest hitter in baseball with 4,256 hits. And he doesn't look like he would be renouncing his throne anytime soon because the only person that comes close is the retired Ty Cobb. Other places where he is king is at bats. He currently holds a record with most at bats with 14,053. He has the most career games played, most career winning games played, most career singles, most outs, and honestly, <laughs> the list goes on. It's crazy. He's gotten praises from almost everyone. But the cheers for Rose are almost equal to the jeers. The jeers are probably more. Even with all his medals and accolades, he's been hated by many in sport. An article on Bleacher Report called him an overrated player. The site also did an article on him in 2009 titled Hall of Shame, The Pete Rose Story. David Murphy, a columnist for the Philadelphia Inquirer, wrote, Rose has always made it perfectly clear to anybody with an ethical pulse that he was, is, and will continue to be a bona fide and unapologetic jerk. And for the praises, well, the 42nd President of the United States of America, Bill Clinton, said of Rose, I think just about everybody ought to get a second chance, and I'd like to see it worked out, because he brought a lot of joy to the game, and he gave a lot of joy to people, and he's paid a price. God knows he's paid a price. And then after he broke Tommy Holmes' record for the highest streak in hitting, Holmes said, It was like I was doing it all over. I was living and dying with every pitch. Now when I teach kids, they know who I am. They'll listen to me. I'll tell them to play the game like Pete Rose. Mike Schmidt, Hall of Fame awardee, said this of Rose. Pete Rose is the most likable, arrogant person I've ever met. Why the world may have contrasting opinions about Charlie Hustle, you may wonder, and we'll tell you. And then you would tell us in the comments section what you make of everything. Deal? Cool. In April 30th, 1988, the Reds faced the New York Mets with Pete now two years into retirement as a player, but maintaining his strong passion for the game. 
A strange and late call was made by umpire Dave Pallone, which led to the Mets making a game-winning run, costing the Reds the game at home. The commentators were surprised with the call, and don't even get us started with the players and the fans. But for Rose, well, let's just say he wasn't happy one bit. He had confronted Pallone in a heated argument and had pushed him. The umpire reacted by ejecting Rose, who came back at him and had to be restricted by the Reds' coaches. As this happened, fans began to throw objects into the field, and after a 15-minute delay of play, the game continued, with Pallone also out of the game. Speaking on the issue, NL President Bartlett Giamatti said, Such incidents are not business as usual and will not be allowed to become so. He also fined Rose an undisclosed amount and gave him a 30-day ban, the longest for any manager of the game up till that time. It would be barely a year after that he and Giamatti came on the news again. Uh, but this time around, Rose was being questioned by the president on his betting accusations. Also president in the meeting was commissioner of baseball, Peter Uberoth, and Rose's lawyer. Rose admitted he was involved in betting, but not on baseball games, rather on basketball horse racing, and football. But the lawyer, John Dowd, investigated the case and came back with findings that claimed Rose placed wagers in 1985 and 1986, with bettings on 52 Reds games in 1987. But the statement read in one part that, no evidence was discovered that Rose bet against the Reds. Following this investigation, Rose was banned for life. A 30-day ban had quickly graduated into a lifetime ban from the game. Just one year after Rose entered a plea of guilt for evading taxes in 1991 with the 12-member board of Hall of Fame directors, Rose was officially banned from the Hall of Fame induction with a chance to be reinstated in the future. But every attempt to get back on the eligibility list has thus far failed. His application in 1992 failed. Six years later, in 1998, he applied again but got another rejection. And when Rob Manfred became commissioner, Rose applied for reinstatement in 2015. But again, he was rejected. In response, Rose made this statement to the media from Las Vegas. All I look forward to being is friends with baseball. I want baseball and Pete Rose to be friends. That's all I want. I'm not an outsider looking in. I got grandkids. They want their grandpa to be associated with baseball. He went on to say, I'm not a casino guy. I don't play blackjack. I don't do the roulette. I don't do dice. I don't do all that kind of stuff. I occasionally like to go bet on horses because I used to be a horse owner, but everything I do is legal. No more behind the scenes stuff that got me in trouble. Nevertheless, with all the rejections, the Phillies, who Rose had played with for four years, intended to honor him in 2017 for his contribution to the 1980 World Series Championship and the 1983 National League title. But before this could happen, a woman identified as Jane Doe in 2017 said Rose spoke to her in 1973. They began an inappropriate relationship in Cincinnati that lasted several years. The Phillies event was canceled and postponed. However, this year in 2022, with Rose now 81 years of age, he was invited to celebrate the 1980 World Series championship with other players. When asked about his alleged misconduct, he said, I'm going to tell you one more time. I'm here for the Philly fans. I'm here for my teammates, okay? I'm here for the Philly organization, and who cares what happened 50 years ago? Today, this is a sector that believes that Rose has already served his sentence and that he should be allowed to return and be a candidate for the Hall of Fame. There are even pro bono lawyers who have made the formal request to the MLB without success. The debate has always been the same. Was what Pete Rose did worse than the manufactured enhancements players took in the 90s or the recent sign stealing by the Astros and Red Sox? If not, why did he receive a worse punishment? Perhaps he just had the misfortune to commit the foul before these cases. Other times, where the worst thing that had happened was the White Sox scandal in the big top. But seriously guys, what do you guys think of all these accusations? Do you think he still deserves to not be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to check out more incredible baseball videos at Baseball Plus. See you there.